Originating in the Gong Hills, the river Adi was created by God to support life in Kajado, Nairobi, Kiambu, Machakos, Kitui, Makueni, Tana River, and Kilivi counties. This is indeed a national treasure. The regional conference is therefore horrified that the national and the county governments in the basin continue to pollute and destroy this lifeline for millions of Kenyans. We are at a point where the river is so polluted that even the animals in Safo National Park trek tens of kilometers to find water in Savo River at River Kiboko. Despite this massive pollution of the river, the residents in the counties in our region have no option but to use its water for irrigation and domestic consumption. Therefore, this deliberate uh, poisoning of this crucial river must be stopped now. Inflow of sewerage and industrial waste and informal settlement located in Ripalia lands or restricted land that belongs to the government. We therefore demand that each county government puts in place and implements legal and a policy measure to severely punish any person who dams waste in rivers and other water resources. We indeed urge the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions, or DPP, to change and prosecute, that is to charge and prosecute any polluter with attempted murder. We must make pollution of water resources a serious crime in the, name, in the same category as murder, for indeed polluters are murderers. On their part, we call upon the board members of the Water Resources Authority to either safeguard the lives of the citizens or quit those positions. No one should continue playing with lives of Kenyans. B, protect sand. The regional conference utterly commends the county government of Makweni, led by Mutula Kelonzo Jr. and Kitui led by Honorable his Excellency Malombe, for enacting county river basin sand utilizations and the conservation acts. The implementation of these laws is crucial since residents in our region depend on water drawn from the sandy dams. We challenge the county governments of Machiakos and Kajado now to enact similar laws and policies, which is doable. We must not allow a, an irregulated sand harvest, harvesting as it is a threat to livelihoods of our people. In our past, uh, in our part as NCCK, we are committed to supporting the construction of seven sandy dams and the distilling seven other dams in Kibri County. C. Train residents on climate agriculture. We further call upon the county governments in our region to allocate adequate funds to provide training of residents on climate smart agriculture that conserve and restores the environment, or that's environment in addition to enabling them to harvest water for domestic use and irrigation. Further, we urge the ministries of agriculture in the counties to deploy enough extension officers to support production of climate adaptive and the nutritious crops. On our part as NCCK, we are training and supporting 4,000 households in Kitui to adopt climate smart agriculture and invite like-minded institutions to partner with us. This regional conference continues to note with concern the intensity, that is the insensitivity and uncaring attitude of the government when addressing the prevailing crisis in the healthcare sector. The withdrawal of the universal health care coverage program and the Hedu Javier medical scheme has extremely exposed the people of Kenya to ill health and untold suffering. It was quite irresponsible on the part of the government to withdraw the two schemes without putting alternative covers in place. Could it be that the current strikes by doctors and other health workers are merely a ruse to take attention away from the endemic Malays in the healthcare system? That's the question. We call upon the national and county governments to deliver to Kenyans the provisions of Article 431A, which 
state that every person has the right to the highest attainable standard of health, which includes the right to health care services, including reproductive health care. It is time to, to stop playing games with the life of Kenyans by, pulling, uh, by polluting their bodies with diseases. We also wish to inform you that the regional conference elected a new team of officials to hold office 2024 to 2027. These are Chiapas, Major Leonard Casioca, truly yours speaking, Vice Chair, Reverend, Right Reverend Gadiel Lenini from Cajado County in his absentia, Honorable Treasurer Naomi Mbugwa, raise your hand. Woman Representative Kenon Mary Maura. Thank you. You, the representative, our Hebo young man here was unanimously elected, Jackson Moema, and the PWD, Persons with Disability, representative, our brother, Joshua Mwoka. Uh, we are a church organization and we, we believe in dialogue. So we are just, as we have said, we have called for the government and the striking doctors, nurses, and whoever else to come on the sitting table and talk about it because they can talk and agree. We believe so. Thank you.